New tonight, a brand new home buyers report shows 81% of millennial first time home buyers have buyers regret. Fox 26's Randy Wallace live from downtown tonight with some of the reasons that they're complaining. Randy. Yeah, Jonathan, owning your own home is the American dream. But eight out of 10 millennials say becoming a first time home buyer turned into a nightmare. According to the 2023 Millennial Home Buyer Report, 82% of millennial first time home buyers have buyer's remorse. You know what? Maybe I don't love this home. Maybe I don't love my neighborhood. Maybe I, this is a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So a lot of people are looking at this like maybe this wasn't a smart move. They weren't aware of the property taxes that they would be paying and how high they are. They weren't aware of some HOA dues that are always going to be due. Millennials' number one complaint, paying too high of an interest rate. When you look at, at a mortgage rate on a, say, $300,000 house at a 3% or 4% interest rate, then to a 6 or 7% interest rate, you're looking at double the payment that they thought it was going to be, which is huge. The second biggest complaint of millennial home buyers not knowing enough about home buying. There are a lot of steps when going through inspections, going through the appraisal. Do you have a survey? Is your financing secured? It's actually imperative for millennials to make sure that they're talking with a real estate professional that has their best interests at mind. Millennials also cite buying in a bad location, bad neighbors, or buying a fixer-upper as reasons for regret. Statistically, homeowners will stay in their home for five to six years, typically, and so I would, in, I would highly advise people to look at it as an investment standpoint, but also, is it a safe place to raise your family, especially millennials with growing families, growing children? Just because we've crept up in values, when you look at nationwide, Colorado, California, Atlanta, all of these other places, we are much more affordable. So Texas is still a hot spot and probably always will be. Now, buying property is still one of the safest investments anyone can make. Now, before buying a home, be sure to do your due diligence and find yourself a real estate agent you can trust. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.